How can you find the axis of symmetry of a parabola from its equation? Well, first you have to figure out which of the three equations of a parabola you have. If you have a set of brackets, which is separately squared, you're allowed to have something multiplied on those brackets and added or subtracted from the end, although those are optional, then you have what is called vertex form of a parabola. The axis of symmetry is in the equation right here. I want you to flip the sign of the thing added or subtracted from x. Here we have x plus three. The axis of symmetry is x equals negative three. That's it. The number in front or after doesn't affect the axis of symmetry. It's all what's in that squared set of brackets. If you have an x squared term and an x term and another term that doesn't have an x and there's no brackets at all on any of them, then you have what's called standard form. I have a shortcut for you to find the axis of symmetry here. It's negative b divided by 2a. Now, a is going to be the number that's in front of x squared. It's not the x squared itself. It's only the number in front. B is going to be the number in front of x. Here it's negative 14, but again, it doesn't include the x. Now, this last number happens to be C, but that's not in my formula, so whatever. You can do x equals negative. My B is negative 14 divided by 2, and my A is 2. Do this on your calculator, and you end up with your answer. I got 14 over 4, which reduces to 7 over 2, or 3.5, but that's your axis of symmetry. Bam! If you have two sets of brackets multiplied by each other, and you're allowed to have something in front, but you may not, then you have what's called factored form of a parabola. This one is telling you the x-intercepts. Now, you're going to flip the signs on both of the things added or subtracted from x in brackets here. x equals 1, positive 1 that is, and x equals negative 7 are x-intercepts of this parabola. Your axis of symmetry is the average of those two. The axis of symmetry here is whatever you get when you take 1, and you add on negative 7, and then divide by 2. Because remember, when you're averaging, you're adding up the numbers and dividing by how many there are. This is negative 6 over 2, so my axis of symmetry here is x equals negative 3. Bam! Step 1, find what kind of equation you have. Is it in vertex form? Is it in standard form? Is it in factored form? If it's in vertex form, the axis of symmetry is staring you right in the face. If it's in standard form, A and B are staring you in the face, and you just got to plug those into the formula and solve. In factored form, you can find your x-intercepts from the two factors and average them together to get the axis of symmetry, which feels like more work, but I just did all three and it only took me three and a half minutes. So, you know, I recommend you get good and practice. Best of luck.